Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are picking up here a little while after our last episode. It is July 27th, which puts us at, let's see here, three months, 15 days. So three and a half months survived. Uh, we've killed uh, almost 3,000 zombies. We are down under 65 kilograms. Still struggling with our weight, uh, but uh, still alive. That's the main thing. And we're back at uh, the cabin today. Uh, probably going to do a little bit of cooking to start things off here. And then uh, in the morning, uh, once we're, uh, we're rolling over here to the new day, we're going to head down to uh, that nameless town in between uh, Riverside and Muldra. And we're going to try and hook up this other generator that we've currently got in the van uh, in the ambulance, uh, try and hook that up to the gas station down there so we can have another option for doing a gas run. In between episodes, I did go out and uh, fill up all our gas cans or uh, the vast majority of them. So we have a ton of them down there, uh, which should uh, give us enough fuel to last a long time with our generator. I also picked up a couple more items uh, for our eating area. As you can see here, we got ourselves a uh, new oven. We've also picked up a microwave here, and we're actually gonna use this microwave today. I'm going to defrost some of this food so we can put it into a meal. So let's go ahead and butcher one of these rabbits. Uh, interestingly enough, the frozen rabbit uh, does not need to be defrosted. It just is good to go as soon as you butcher it. So that's uh, interesting. We'll use these two pieces. I am gonna defrost this fish fillet though. So let's go ahead and use our microwave. And we'll try this out, we'll toss that in. We'll go to the settings, go to Celsius. Uh, I thought there was a defrost setting. They must have changed this a little bit. So let's turn this to maybe just a hundred and we'll do it for like five minutes. Try that. Oh, well, it's defrosted there. Okay. Is it actually cooking? It is. So it only needs a, maybe a minute to defrost, uh, which I guess makes sense. All right, let's pull that out. And we will make our roasted vegetable dish here. With some rabbit, some potato. Nice having a few different options though for ways to cook. We're out of the dark ages, so to speak. Uh, add a little bit of carrot in there. These carrots don't have much hunger value to them because we've been using them for trapping. And let's see, add our tomato in there. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and we'll use our new oven today. So we'll toss that in there. And I should have, let's see, I should have my frying pan somewhere too. Yeah, let's do a, Stir-fry with uh, some broccoli here. We can actually use this layout a little bit different than what we how we usually do it We haven't really used our crafting menu all that much Toss a tomato in there And I guess we used up all the meat I guess there's no more meat, hey? Oh, we're, we're doing a vegetable salad apparently Uh, must have uh, not been paying attention there. All right, well, let's grab this, add this rabbit in here. Didn't mean to do that. And let's, we'll put in a potato. Let's eat this leftover potato. Let's put in some more of this rabbit. Get tomato, oh, that's only a one hunger tomato. Let's do a f fresh full tomato in there. All right, there we go. And we might as well top off this salad that we started making. Uh, here, we'll cook up the rest of this chick uh, rabbit, then we can put that into to the salad. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. And let's see here. 
could eat the rest of this tomato. So it's not much there. Good. Uh, actually carrying an empty gas can on me. I think I used that for filling up the generator. So I don't know if this actually cooks any faster than the barbecue. I suppose if we turn up the temperature, it would. One would think, anyway. All right. So I'm not sure how hot the barbecue gets, too. There's no um, settings to this. Anyway, we got that uh, rabbit meat. Let's throw that into our salad. There we go. And we might as well... Actually, I'm going to put this in the fridge. Save that for later. And this is almost done. Just wait a little while longer. We do have some cabbage that's ready to harvest. We have three crops here ready to harvest. I think it's about 15, 14 hours until it's seed bearing. So we'll wait uh, for that to finish. All right, let's turn that off. We'll go ahead and eat half of this roasted vegetables. And we'll take this stir fry and we'll put that in the fridge for later. Awesome. Okay. So that's good to go. Let's make sure our water's filled up here. Great. Our generator is getting lower in condition, so we'll have to repair this at some point. It's still at 80. 1% though, so uh, we still got, uh, I would think, at least another week before we have to really repair that. Uh, what else is new in between episodes? I don't think there's much. I mainly just did a uh, gas run, so as you can see, we got lots of gas cans here. Uh, I might make some more crates uh, up on the third floor. My plan is to, for the time being at least, get all our storage items up off the ground and just put them up here. So we could actually go ahead and saw this one log up. Make at least one more crate up here. I've already got this metal locker here that you can see. So let's, uh, I'll put one back here. And then we can bring at least one crate's worth of stuff up. Now what's our most important stuff? We wouldn't want to lose in case we did get overrun. Maybe our am ammunition and guns. Let's bring all this stuff upstairs. So, yeah, for now, this will be our storage area. I've had an, a suggestion to do a proper bedroom. So we will kind of plan that out in the near future. Not sure exactly where it would go. I think my only stipulation would be that I kind of want it overlooking the river. That'd be kind of nice. So whether that means... Uh, we go up one more floor and then kind of build out over top of the deck. That's something that we could do. I also had another suggestion to, which is this is something we can actually do right now, to put a little bit of a, a few plots underneath the deck here for growing radishes and carrots because those crops need a more controlled supply of water. So let's grab our trowel. And some carrot and radish seeds. And we'll plant some of this stuff. I actually haven't opened up any radishes yet, so. This will be a good opportunity. Grab our watering can as well. And we'll just 
dig some plots underneath here. So these pillars are the uh, the edges. Put one up right against there. And hmm, yeah, we'll do one here too. Even though that's not the uh, recommended distance. Yeah, doesn't quite work out. But we'll roll with that. And I can't really see down here. Maybe I'll just do those. I guess I can see those plots. Alright, so let's do two things of carrots here, either side. And we'll water these. I'm not sure how much water they need. We'll start off with 35. And then we'll plant some radishes here. And we'll give those 35 as well to start off. If you guys know exactly how much is the uh, perfect amount, you can put those in the comments. Okay, <laughs> girlfriend just told me it's 65. <laughs> Alright, so that's what we'll do. Alright, well that one's 60. Let's go get some more water. Alright, let's do 30 there. Do another 5 here. Now do 65 there. And there. Okay, cool. So that should be good to go. And take a look at this. Uh, let's see, nine hours to next growing phase. So we could harvest the stuff in the morning before we head out. These ones are probably pretty close to 12 hours. Yeah. Let's go grab some veggies for our traps. We'll go do those, and then we'll get to bed. Okay, it's 5.50 the next morning. I just went and checked the traps. Uh, we did pretty good here. We got uh, eight rabbits last night, so uh, ranging from 57, I think that's the biggest one, down to uh, 18, is that the smallest one? So. It's a lot of food. That'll be good. Let's toss all these in here. They don't weigh very much, even the big ones. Which is quite nice. Alright, so we got uh, a good 11 rabbits in our freezer up here. Plus there's a few downstairs as well. Let's uh, eat this for breakfast. And we'll take this rabbit stir fry with us as well today. Okay, then we'll have to do some more cooking when we get back. Uh, these are seed bearings, so we'll go harvest those. Get those dropped off in the fridge, and then we'll head out here. Might want to top up the generator before we leave, just in case. So, we are very close to level 10 farming. We'll probably, yeah, we might get it today. Let's go ahead and harvest this. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to get it. Yeah, maybe in the, even after this one. Ooh, so close. Well, we do have one more. And there we go. Level 10 farming. Very good. I'm going to water this stuff, and then we'll hit the road. We're just going south from our camp, our cabin there. We'll follow this to uh, one of our usual intersections. Uh, but instead of going east uh, towards the Crossroads gas station, we're going to head uh, just straight through here. And then there should be a turn west, just a little ways up. Not too far. And we'll follow that. And uh, eventually that'll take us up to the... Uh, the Nameless Town. Should be coming up to the last intersection. 
We'll turn left there. My plan is we're going to drive through town. I think this is it. My plan is for us to drive through town with the siren on. Try and tr attract everyone. And follow the highway to do a loop. Oh, this is an interesting looking car. Let me check this out. But essentially try and draw people away from the gas station. This gas station is right on the highway. Do a loop. And then uh, come back around this way again. Yeah, this is an interesting car. I kind of like the looks of it. Got an extinguisher in the back. Let's see what's under the hood. Looks like it's in good, good condition. Oh, it's in very good condition. It's even got um, a charge. This is a standard Dash Rancher. Well, I would be tempted to uh, take this car with us. Let's uh, let's hotwire it. Take it back at some point. Won't take us but a moment, and we will continue on. Let's see if it has any gas. Oh wow, actually has quite a bit of gas. Okay, I'm gonna move this one over. This is a cool looking car. Just park it here for now. And uh, at some point, we'll try and get this one back. Cause that is in quite good condition. Not a lot of room, but I like the looks of it. Okay, let's continue on here. Quite lucky to find something in such high condition though with a working battery. Okay, so we'll continue on here. Won't be much further as long as I made all the right turns. We should head west again and then go right through town. Just get around this wreck. And this should be it here. So we'll turn our sirens on once we're sure we're on the outskirts. Grab their attention. Yeah, here we go. And we'll pull them through to the other side of town. Yeah, I think this is it. This has got to be it. Right, let's get through this patch. Yeah, there's the lake. Okay, let's turn that on. Get their attention. There's the gas station right there. So we'll try and go slow enough that they all come to us, but make sure we don't get surrounded. So we don't want to do too much damage to the car. So this road, eventually, we'll pass some more water on the right, and then eventually it'll uh, turn north, and then loop back around to the east, and back south, and then back to this same road, so. We're doing the old loop, but with a car. We'll see if this plan works. Here's the water up here. I know this uh, siren. I've used it once before off camera and it was pulling people from a long distance away, so I'm hoping the zombies can hear us from a ways away. Just stay ahead of the group. It may work out nicely, it may uh, be a horrible decision. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Alright, here's our turn off. So let's uh, try and get their attention for as long as possible. As we tease this zombie. <laughs> try and knock over. She's invincible. Alright, 
come this way, zombies. Let's change up the, the siren a bit. So it's not too monotonous for you guys. Could even turn on the lights. There we go. We're a proper ambulance now. What else we got here? Yeah, so this this part of town is gonna be a mess after. Oh, that one's a little bit much. <laughs> that one's a little bit much. Okay, I think that um, that might be good. We'll continue with the siren as we drive away here. Pull them up as far as we can. And once we get to the turn, we'll turn the siren off. Shouldn't be very far though. Should just be up here. We won't be able to use that route, <laughs> I would think, for a while. So it's kind of a one-off. So you can see it's pulling a lot of zombies from everywhere. Here we go. Alright, so let's turn this off. Turn that off. There we go. And we'll head down this way. Um, how am I going to get around this? Okay. Let's push forward. Those zombies are coming from everywhere. So as soon as this turns... South again, we'll take that. So we stop the alarm at the furthest point. Oh god. From where we want to be. Diagonally. So I'm hoping that that's enough. Alright, here's our turn. We'll be passing our little jeep, our little green jeep in a moment. There it is. We know we've gone the right way. And uh, we won't go all the way in. We'll take the generator in on foot, if at all possible. Let's get as close as we can, though. So we don't attract the zombies back towards us. Oops. Didn't mean to click there. I do have my axe with us. Uh, we're a little bit hungry. Let's uh, eat before we get into town. Eat half of this. Pop a beta blocker just in case right now. So I think this path, I think it leads to some like um, army, um, bu not bunkers, but um, barracks. We could, I think it's up there. So we could check that out at some point. Maybe on the way back. Alright, let's um, start clearing out these zombies. Uh, we'll just go our axe. Try and keep them off the road. Uh, you guys said that the corpses don't actually uh, damage uh, our car. But uh, we can still ramp off them <laughs> and swerve into a tree or something, so we'll still be kind of careful. Right, let's push up a little bit further. It's 1 p.m., so we don't have all day, but... All right, here's the, uh, the water, so we know we're right by the gas station now. Looks like there's too many. Let's just not get surrounded. That was a close crawler. Ah. I 
get any one hit kills here. Get these, get behind these crawlers here. Where'd that guy go? I think there's one over here somewhere. Oh, it's this guy moaning. So I think we'll take the uh, generator in on foot from here. Let's just check out the gas station, which is just up here. Hopefully it's clear. I just want to get it connected today. Yeah, there's a small group. I don't necessarily need to fill up, but we do want to get it connected. Let's clear these out as fast as we can before any others start to wander back. I'm hoping that they continue to follow that noise though for a while. I'll have a couple cars here too. That one looks like it's in pretty condition, good condition, the black one. I think we have our moment to grab the generator and bring it down in. I'm gonna bring the car a little bit closer. I don't, I don't see any zombies around, so I think we're safe enough to do so. safe enough. Alright, so let's uh, open the back. Oh, it was open. Okay, let's grab our generator. Both hands. Our carry capacity is low enough we can do that. As long as it's under 10, you can pick up the generator. And we'll just connect it to this closest set of pumps. I'm not sure if it powers all four. We could test that out. Or it's just the two that it's closest to. So we'll connect that up. So we now have three gas stations that we can come to in varying locations. Uh, we'll have to fill that up with gas. So let's uh, grab a can from the back here. I think I have a few in here still, yeah. All right, so let's grab that. Actually, I do have some empty ones, so in the front seat. We might as well fill those up, since there's no zombies around. Probably am safe just to drive right up here, but just in case there's some zombies back in there, I'll hold off. So we'll fill this up, turn that on. Uh, let's see if these ones over here are powered up too. Oh no, that's attracting zombies right now. Yeah, there were some in the in the trees. Just a couple. All right, let's see if these work. No, they don't. Oh no, they do. Okay, cool. Good to know. Let's fill up our cans. We'll take it back to the car. I mean, we might as well. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to get this equipped secondary. And fill up one more here. Toss these in our bag. We'll try and do this all in one load without losing too much health as it starts to rain. Okay, fill up three more here. And there we go. Let's turn this off. Uh, yeah, it's got lots of fuel, just from one, one can. 
Might as well top up the ambulance. And okay. Put this one here. There's our four back there. Put these ones here. And that one. Not too concerned about the partially empty one that we just used to fill up the car with. So that's all we'll be able to fit on this seat after this one. The last two can just go in the back. Or on this seat even. There we go. Okay. So, let's... Let's see here. We got our axe out. Uh, let's get our umbrella out. Let's go in with the knife. Might as well check this gas station out completely while well, it's rel relatively empty here. We might even be able to get into some of the places downtown on Main Street. Well, not downtown, but on Main Street. So from what I remember being here last time, there were a couple good locations. Sounds like there's a zombie in there. There's a zombie pounding somewhere. Could even take another freezer home if we really wanted to. Smash that. Uh, there are some zombies on Main Street there. Hopefully there's no alarm. Nice. Alright, more empty gas cans. We will grab them. Grab this pop. How much are these? It's a little bit bigger than the usual freezer. Or, right, is it? I think it's, or it's a fridge a little bit bigger. 50 units? Seems a little bit bigger than the one we have. It's a big blue uh, footprint, though. Oh, uh, another sports battery. Uh, we could grab that. Some chips. Another gas can, another heavy duty battery. We already have. A couple, and we have the battery charger now, so I suppose it's not really a big, big deal. Uh, let's turn this off. Pick that up and dismantle, because we are very close to our next level of electrical. So let's go ahead and dismantle this. And no car parts here. We'll see it's on this back shelf. I do hear some zombies knocking though. Uh, value type heavy duty tire. Okay, let's put that down. Another propane tank. Uh, not much left in it though. And I got some more food. Yeah, a zombie. That was some painkillers. And here we go, some boxes to loot. Uh, some paint, green paint. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Some more green paint. Since we are thinking about uh, painting our, our house now, pick up a few different colors maybe. Uh, we do have a paintbrush back at home. And we do have a welding mask already. Save beginners. Check for food. Oh, uh, bacon. We will take that for leveling up cooking. More seeds. Some more wire. That's good. Put that our backpack. Oh, we got a uh, medicine cabinet here. I might want this. I want to take that. Uh, let's pull that off the wall right now. Uh, get our hammer out. And then we'll drop some of this stuff off in the car. 
So we'll pull this off the wall. Let's go drop this stuff off. Oh, we can hear some zombies. Try and do this quickly. So we're probably gonna start to come back into this area. Yeah, there's one right now. Let's slowly start to file back in. Fill up as much stuff as we can, though, into this car. Uh, so let's just drop this full bag. And this medicine cabinet. And how much room do we have left in there? Should have quite a bit. Yeah, almost 50 units. Let's kill this one zombie. Okay, let's head back in there and see if there's anything else we really want. Um, I guess this is open here. Don't hear any thumping on the back door though, which is good. I hear some groans, that's about it. Uh, another radio. Dismantle that. You gotta be very close here. There we go. Level 4 electrical. Uh, let's get our other bag out here. Good. And I think that's it for up here. Let's head over to Main Street. Um, we do have this other gas can here. I think we'll just take the empty ones since they're lighter. Since we have a few different gas stations we can come to now if we need to fill the stuff up. So we got a burger joint up there. Uh, looks, oh, oh, there's a group behind there. I wanna try and get to this, there's a tool store right here. Might be some good stuff in there. So I'm gonna try and sneak our way over there. It's actually quite sparse at the moment. I think the uh, ambulance worked out quite nicely there. So we'll just clear out a few of these that are following us. And we'll try and get in here. Search this before it gets too dark. It's already 6.30. So we'll kill these. See how many are inside. Could always use more boxes and nails. Uh, like that, fantastic. Mill tube, we'll take. Uh, we'll take a box of screws just because. I don't think we have any. There we go, awesome. Another screwdriver, good. Got some books here too. Oh no, just a shelf. Let's grab all this good stuff. Another hunting knife, awesome. That's a good find. And yeah, there's no one in here right now, so we should grab as much stuff as we can. Uh, I meant to grab the rope. Uh, used to lock containers. Interesting. Well, we're not playing multiplayer, so we don't really have to worry about that. Zombies aren't smart enough to open up doors. Or, uh, open up stuff. Don't have to worry about locking. Uh, I might come back for some of this, um, welding stuff later. Let's focus on other, other items. Like an axe. Something good. At least the uh, and knives, you know. We'll take that stuff. Anything stabby stabby. We will grab fishing stuff. Yep. Yes, please. We should take these sacks as 
Maybe we could do some sandbag walls. Uh, another axe. Uh, let's grab it. Duct tape, yep. Twine, yep. A couple more fishing rods. Here in a groan. Okay, back there. Take this stuff. Metalworking, we've read. Take the glue. We grab as much stuff as we can before we have to get in here. So we may not have a better opportunity to search this stuff. Okay, red. Actually, I think we got most of it. Let's see what's back here. Some more boxes. Okay. Oh, shotgun shells. We're going to be quite weighted down when we leave here, but. Uh, maybe we'll, let's sacrifice. No. I thought we had paint in here, but that was in the other bag. Okay, there's not much back here anyway. Let's check this other back room. Uh, another radio. Let's dismantle. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think we did a pretty good job clearing that out. So there's some welding supplies left in there. Some metalworking stuff. Oh, let me grab doorknob and hinges. So I do need those. Let's take this stuff back. And we might be able to... I think this store, this is the general store down here, I believe. So we might be able to get in there too before we head back home. There's just so few zombies here right now. We should try and loot as much of this main street as we can. Just take advantage of things. And who knows, maybe we can do that same thing with the ambulance again. I was thinking maybe it's just a one-time thing, because the road's probably clogged up pretty good now. But uh, we might be able to... Do another run through there. Oh, and that's a gunshot. Let's get this stuff dropped off because I don't know where that's going to drop people. Let's just. No, no, don't go over there. What are you doing? Drop everything off in here. A couple axes. Those were good finds. And I think two or three hunting knives. So I like that. Oh, and uh, they're coming down this way. Alright, I think we should just go. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to stick around here, guys. Get the hell out of here. Turn this around. Oh, without crashing. Alright, we can come back and get some other stuff later. Uh, but we did pretty good there. We cleared out that hardware store. Except for the middle working stuff. I am happy with that. And we have another gas station hooked up. So we'll make the drive back. Not really sure when we'll get this Jeep down there. Uh, back to to base. So we'll, we still have to go back and get Roxy. And I'm going to have to make a, a big old garage for all these cars. Anyway, let me uh, get back to the cabin here and we will pick up uh, in the morning. Oh, it's the next morning, guys, and we have another helicopter event, so... It actually started a couple hours ago while I was sleeping. We should get out of here. So we don't attract zombies unnecessarily to our base. So, let's see here. It is July 29th. A few weeks since uh, our last helicopter. Let's get out of here. We'll try and drag them down to uh, somewhere else. We'll just head down to our little spare safe house. That's where I usually end up going when the helicopter comes off camera. So we'll head down there. It looked like it started around 8 a.m., so it's probably doesn't have too much longer to go. Maybe another couple hours, but. We'll just get away from our base. So 
so they don't get a bunch of them wandering in. Um, we could just wait here for a bit, and see what happens, or maybe we'll go down to the next intersection. Yeah, let's just, uh, we'll turn the engine off here. The nice thing about the cars, I assume it's because we have mirrors, so we can see all around us. So we'll just, um, here, we'll, we'll pull up maybe a little bit further. Like that. And then at least we can see everything around us, and we'll just uh, fast forward here. and Hopefully the uh, this event ends pretty soon. Without zombies coming towards us. And that was a long, uh... It's still going on. It's been going on almost 24 hours. That's, uh, very long. We're severely depressed, extremely bored, thirsty, very hungry. I wonder if this is two back-to-back -back helicopters, and here come the first zombies. So... Not good. Um, let's actually, we're gonna go down this way. Pull them far away from where we are. I didn't think it would last this long, so we didn't bring any food with us. Uh, we could do a quick forge. So we can forge here. here let's turn this off. We'll do a quick forge. just for food just to get something in our belly hopefully the zombies don't come down right away should find something though well our boredom went down a bit uh, we should take uh, antidepressant though if I have one on me, I do. Let's take that. And did we find some food? I think we did. So let's go ahead and eat some of these berries. Should help with our thirst a little bit. None of these are poisonous. So we're okay there. so we're not starving. Alright, we're a little bit full. Let's finish these three. And I would hope that's the end of the uh, helicopter now. That's almost, I think that's the longest helicopter we've had. That was almost a full 24 hours. Uh, I don't actually want to start it. We could just sleep here. Let's fast forward a little bit. See if it comes back one more time. I think that's probably it though. If it went longer than that, I'd be surprised. Yeah, okay, I think it's done. So I'm gonna get home. We're gonna end this episode here for the day. Uh, we probably dropped a bunch of weight there. Yeah, we're down to under 64 now. Really gotta focus on just eating and doing nothing for a little while. So we will be back very soon with the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave me some comments for what you thought of today's episode down below. Hit that like button if you did enjoy our little uh, looting expedition out to the unnamed town. And until next time, I'll talk to you all later.